Hi, this is Julie at Love's Beginning, and I feel invited today to talk to you about a couple of metaphors I was given. Um, so it started with this idea of chatter. If you hear about intelligence agencies speaking of chatter, they say, we've heard chatter on this topic or that topic. So if they're preparing for some sort of outcome, they pay attention to the chatter they're hearing. So I was invited to take this idea and apply it to watching the mind. So if I notice chatter, there's a lot of chatter around finances or weight or aging or um, good enough, the idea of being good enough. And this is just repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. Oh my goodness, there's chatter every day or every hour very regularly on this topic and to recognize it as just chatter. And um, to see it as of one piece with all the other chatter. But I am invited to take it topic by topic. Um, what if I notice themes in the chatter? Okay, there's a lot of chatter about physical appearance, for example. Um, and then, <laughs> then I was given a secondary metaphor, which was a funny one for me. It was um, a Viore strip. If you've ever used one of these strips that you put on your face, you wet it down, it dries out, and then you pull it off, and you're supposed to be satisfied by all this, like oil and grease, little plugs you see that you pulled out of your pores. Um, I was given that metaphor as a, a kind of like the idea of, of, of one piece. So if there's a lot of chatter about physical appearance in my thoughts, my appearance, others' appearance, comparative judgments and values, and all that stuff it's it's of a piece all the chatter on all the topics is of a piece but like right now i'm being in, invited to take it seemingly topic by topic so if i notice chatter on this topic and then i'm, I'm just showing like the whole thing coming off they're all connected so if i'm willing to take this topic this issue and recognize the reason I seem to be bothered by this chatter is that I am trying to manage it as an ego, as a separated one, as a fictional character. I am trying to manage the physical appearance or the finances or the, um, the weight or the, the quality of parenting. I am trying to manage it as a separated one and that doesn't feel good. That has become very obvious. Um, Whereas before I would have been very fearful to consider, well, how I have to try, you know, if I don't try to be a good parent, everybody's going to suffer. Well, if I notice everybody's suffering in one way or another, anyhow. So <laughs> wouldn't I like to get to the bottom of all the suffering and do my role to allow that to lift, disappear? and um, to allow the joy that's always underneath it to come up through. Wouldn't I like to play my role? Well, the only way I can do that is to surrender all the, um, the perception that is um, brought to my awareness by this chatter on these various topics. So now when I notice that chatter arising, I'm invited to give the whole topic over, the whole seeming section of perception like this is not mine i can't even judge related to this topic i am not even capable of judging that is not even a function of this being that is not even what this being does so um, if i'm engaged in chatter there are always comparative values being assigned and there's always emotion um, arising at distress because of the comparative values i'm assigning so um just to see that and to be invited to turn over not just one thought, but all the thoughts on the topic, topic after topic after topic, and allow what really is to come in and replace that, that, that feels very freeing. And it gives me um, a modality, a way to respond when I, when I feel like, oh, this thinking, this thinking, you know, I thought, I thought my mind was clear, but now it's really not. It seem, it's seemingly very cluttered. Well, it's just more stuff coming up. I've allowed more stuff to be uncovered, more stuff's coming up, and all I can do is let it go. So it seems I'm being given these little modalities or pictures or symbols to help me 
do that. It seems to take place in time, but that part isn't even real. Um, but I'll, I'll take what I'm given. That's good. <laughs> um, what did I want to say about it? The thing I'm told about concepts, though, is they're, they're handholds. They help you seem to get where you're going, but you leave a handhold behind you. You don't try to carry every, like a rock climber doesn't try to bring every ledge, every handhold, every foothold with her as she climbs up the rock face. Um, and so what I'm told about concepts is when, when you're done with them, please flush. Like I'm being instructed on how to be polite or something. Like once you're done with a concept, flush it. And if you need it, it, it will come back to you. It'll just pop into your head and it will be there for you to use. But don't try to hold on to it. Don't try to make a philosophy of it. Don't try to drag it around with you. So I'm invited to that freedom too. There's nothing I have to, even though this seems to be a journey of remembrance, there's nothing I have to use effort to remember. Um, other than just my willingness, my willingness to play my part in waking up fully. That seems important to remember when I get into the tangle of thoughts. But other than that, the concepts that seem to help me in my way, I'm encouraged to drop them as soon as I'm done with them. And if I need them, then they'll come back. So I hope all is going well with you. And I hope this, um, this chatter chatter <laughs> helps you with your chatter. And thanks for listening.